In this video, we're going to discuss and demonstrate the Thompson test, which is an evaluation for an Achilles tendon rupture. Beginning with our patient in a prone position and with their feet hanging off the edge, we're going to begin with inspection and palpation of the posterior lower leg. So now looking at this right lower leg and palpating along the gastrocnemius and soleus, we can feel normal muscle tone and normal contour of the leg. We also feel what appears to be an intact Achilles tendon down to the calcaneus. We're also observing a normal degree of slight plantar flexion, which would be present uh, in the case of an intact Achilles tendon because of the normal baseline muscle tone of the gastroc and soleus muscles. On this left side, as we inspect and palpate, we're observing and feeling less muscle tone of the gastroc and soleus. And as we palpate further inferiorly, we're also feeling some tissue edema and uh, some additional warmth at this area where it appears that the Achilles tendon seems to have retracted a little bit. Also, as we palpate where we would normally expect to feel the Achilles tendon, we're feeling a little bit of a space or a defect with the absence of an Achilles tendon down to the calcaneus. As well, we'll notice that at rest, this ankle is more at 90 degrees due to the lack of resting tone and, and uh, the absence of the Achilles tendon on this left side. So for the Thompson test, we're gonna take one hand and we're going to squeeze the gastrocnemius and soleus, and we're expecting with an intact Achilles tendon that we're gonna observe normal plantar flexion at the ankle. And we see that on this right side, indicating an intact Achilles tendon. And on this left side, as we squeeze the gastrocnemius and soleus, we are seeing an absence of normal expected plantar flexion at the ankle, which indicates an Achilles tendon rupture. 